this is Will's Front, brought to you by theunshackled.net. I'm here with Bernie Finn, Liberal MLC, who's the chairman of the March for the Babies. Am I still allowed to use the term chairman? Uh, today I think you can, Tim. Uh, tomorrow, who knows? We're in Victoria, anything's possible. These things change uh, at the speed of light sometimes. Yes, you're too right about that. Now, first question I want to ask you, you're probably the, the maddest Richmond uh, supporter I know. It was the second premiership in, in three years. Mm. Uh, was it just as good second time around? I think it was actually a little bit better the second time around because the, the first time I was, uh, i got to say, I was a bit overwhelmed. Um, it was, uh, it was a, there was a real feeling of, um, of being just nonplussed that we'd actually you know, made it to the top of the mountain uh, after 37 years of, of misery. Um, so the... the, the um, uh, the, the grand final, you know, just up the road here uh, uh, a couple of weeks ago was a very, very pleasurable, enjoyable uh, day and I was there with, uh, with two of my daughters and uh, we both enjoyed it immensely. Well, I'm a Brisbane Lions supporter, so Richmond gave us two knockout blows. Mm. I won't hold it against you, though I do <laughs> hope to uh, live to, to see another Lions Premiership someday. Oh, look, I have no doubt you will. Uh, I think that uh, the Lions are really coming along nicely. I, I reckon in the next year, two, maybe three, uh, they, they will take a flag. They, they, um, they just need a bit of experience and, uh, and they'll get there. Yes, I hope you're right on that one. Uh, now, on to today, this is obviously the, the 10th annual March for mm. the Babies. It's to uh, commemorate and, and remember all the babies killed over the, the past, it's 11 years now mm. since the Abortion Law Reform Act was, was passed in, in 2008. Most radical abortion law in the world at the time, because mm. babies can be aborted until birth, and now it's been rolled out, I shouldn't say rolled out, steamrolled yes, through parliaments yeah, yeah, nation, yeah. nationwide. It's gone to Tasmania, Queensland, and well in New South Wales they, they tried to spring it on the people of New mm. South Wales uh, but uh, there was a, a pop-up uh, resistance and uh, a lot of brave New South Wales Liberal pro-life MPs I'm sure you've spoken with them they yes, managed have, yeah. to even though the bill passed uh, it, still the the unborn are better protected than they would be if that bill had just been passed in its entirety. Yeah, so well, we have one of those MPs speaking at our uh, at our rally uh, this afternoon after the march uh, in front of Parliament House, uh, Nat Smith, who is a um, a new member, uh, but he is a very exciting uh, young member who uh, I fully anticipate will take the fight up to the uh, the pro abortionists and and take the fight up to the left on a whole range of issues um, over uh, well. I reckon he'll probably be there for the next 30 years. He is, uh, he's particularly good value. Yes, they definitely were bold in their political strategy, but it worked in the end. And I remember you saying on, it was years ago on Facebook, that you, you were told that if you toned down your pro-life beliefs, you'd maybe get to be a minister. But you said, how could, you, how, how could I live with myself? Well, that, that's the bottom line, yes. Um, I mean, I'm not in this for, for cars and for officers and for staff. Uh, I'm in this to uh, get the results and to, uh, uh, to, to push the issues that, uh, that I believe in and obviously to fight for my electorate as well. Uh, but uh, I, I stand by my principles and um, if, uh, if you sell out on something as basic as little children, uh, y you're really not worth much, are you? Yeah, definitely right there. And I know that there's a March for Life taking place in Queensland, uh, which has a Victorian-style abortion law. It seems Anastasia Palaszczuk there, she's trying to, to model Queensland on what Daniel Andrews has created in uh, Victoria. And so Mark Robinson, MP, uh, LMP, I know that he's spoken at, at this march uh, before. He, he'll be up there at the March for Life today. I, I'm sure he will, and his wife Julie. Uh, great wonderful people uh, but also great pro-lifers uh, and I have absolutely no doubt they'll be at the march today and I know that they uh, will continue to fight for the babies and for their mums uh, in, a, in a way that um, that only uh, and only really good inspired people can and, and they are uh, just just wonderful people and I'm very proud to call them friends. I think the small victory in New South Wales it's given us a lot more hope and optimism and of course we also take that from over in the United mm. States where a lot of the states have passed pro-life legislation and it looks now that Roe versus Wade the where 
it was less than 10 judges decided to legalize abortion nationwide, taking power away from the people, yes, yes. Uh, that, uh, that looks like that, that could change over there with a massive pro-life movement there. Well, the reason, the reason that uh, nobody's challenging the pro-life legislation that's being passed over there is because they know that if they take it to the Supreme Court, Roe v. Wade is over. It's gone. Their, their so-called constitutional right to, to kill children over there uh, will be uh, will be finished. Uh, and it's, it's wonderful to say to see rather that um, um, they have over there a the most wonderful pro-life president that they've ever had. Uh, and when you consider what they could have had. Um, the most pro-abortion president in the history of the US, uh, they instead defeated her and they put in the most pro-life president. Uh, it's, uh, it's really exciting and it, and, it is, and it should inspire each and every one of us to do the same here. Uh, you know, if they can do it over there, we can do it here, we must do it here. Uh, you know, um, elections have consequences. Uh, we've seen that in the US. Over there the consequences are good. Over here the, the consequences are not so good. Uh, and that, that's something that we all should take on board and, and, and work to do something about. Yes, because obviously Daniel Andrews, he won, it was a landslide victory mm. back in November. We've got him until November 2022. Mm. Mm. Uh, we've had Extinction Rebellion run right through the, the city this week. And we saw with the vegans, they got a $100 fine, which they could give to charity, no conviction. So it just inspired these people to Extinction Rebellion to super glue and use locking uh, devices. And they even did a nudie run uh, this morning, yeah. thankfully miles away from, from where we are. Uh, but uh, we've also got the, the counter protest up there, which mm. uh, Fiona Patton will be attending. She's proposing a new hate speech uh, legislation, well, universal hate speech legislation, which, well, who knows, it could make this march illegal. Yeah, it could well be. And we've well, also yeah. got crime still running rampant yeah, uh, yeah. throughout Melbourne <coughs> in, in your uh, home area mm, in the west, mm, down mm. in my area, the, the, the southeast. Mm. Uh, what can you say as a legislator uh, that to the people of Victoria? Well, I, I just say to begin with that that uh, legislation that Fiona Patton is putting forward would make hate speech anything that she disagrees with. Uh, I mean, I, I, as I said in the Parliament, you know, I thought that she was a libertarian. I thought that she believed in freedom. Uh, quite the opposite, and she proves that time and time and time again. Um, but, but look, what we have to do is we have to fight. It's as simple as that. If we don't fight, we lose. There's only one thing that's absolutely guaranteed, apart from death and taxes, and that is if you don't fight, you lose. And there are a lot of people um, who say they're pro-life, uh, but don't actually do anything about it. My, my, I, you know, I say to those people that saying you're pro-life doesn't make you pro-life. Doing something does make you pro-life. And uh, that's, that is the big difference between us and them. They seem, at this point in time, to be more committed than a lot of our people, and that's why they're winning. We have to turn that around. We have to get people out of their couches, out of their kitchens, uh, and and out, you know, to to work hard to remove pro-life uh, or to remove pro-abortion uh, uh, politicians uh, to uh, to to make the parliament pro-life. And if we have a pro-life parliament, we will have pro-life laws. It's it's that simple. And obviously today is about the, the babies, but uh, Daniel Andrews, with the assistance of Fiona Patton, has passed uh, uh, euthanasia, the mm. uh, again the first Australian state to, to do so, that's just been, been brought in. So it's basically being pro-life is fighting for all vulnerable people, the mm. unborn, mm. the elderly, mm. the disabled. Yep, abs abs that's absolutely right and uh, I vigorously opposed that, uh, that euthanasia bill uh, last year. Uh, and, well, the year before now, isn't it? Uh, and uh, it's uh, unfortunately now uh, it's come into um, into practice um, in in June of this year, and already uh, the first people have uh, uh, become victims uh, of of that legislation. Uh, so you know it's 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 just tragic. But uh, you know again, elections have consequences, and that is a consequence of having the appalling government that we have in Victoria. I think uh, people attending today, they're making a, a great start in activism because that's, at the end of the day, what scares a lot of legislators, people on the street. Mm. And I've seen a lot of festivals on my way here today and just imagine if, if they knew about abortion mm. and the truth, they, they would be here too. Well, of course they would and that's what we have to keep telling people because a lot of people out there don't actually know about the laws that we have in Victoria. They don't realise that uh, you can get an abortion um, for any reason at any time during pregnancy uh, in, in this state. Uh, it, it is an appalling uh, state of affairs. It is appalling and, and something that none of us should be proud of. 
uh, and something that we should all be working furiously and feverishly indeed uh, to overturn. Oh, well, good luck today, Bernie, for the Thank for the tenth annual one. I'll let you get back to uh, official duties, and I'll probably see you up on stage. Look forward to it, Tim. Good on you. Thank you. Thanks, mate. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Bernie Finn. I'm president of uh, March for the Babies. And uh, we have uh, now for 10 years gathered at this spot to commemorate the dreadful legislation in 2008 that legalised abortion in Victoria right up until the moment of birth. Where babies could be killed in this state at any time during pregnancy for any reason at all. And we have gathered every year, it's interesting, it's interesting when uh, the Minister at the time, the Minister for Women at the time, whose name completely escapes me I have to say, she said, this issue is settled, after the bill was passed, she said, this issue is settled, the noise will go away. Well at the next election she lost her seat, she went away. But we're still here. And we are here, we are here to remember those babies who have died in the last 12 months. We remember those children who have been slaughtered by abortionists in clinics and in hospitals around this state. We stand with them and remember them always. They are very, very special human beings. We reach out to their mothers, many of whom are suffering, many of whom did not want to have an abortion, many of whom were forced in by circumstances or by relatives or by partners and who are suffering and will suffer for many years to come. We stand with them with love and compassion. We reach out to them and we say, we love you too. And finally, we gather here today to send a message to the politicians, to the media, to the community, that we are not going to go away until we win. Let me tell you, we will not go away until that dreadful evil law is repealed and it is replaced with a law which gives every human being equal rights in this state. We look to our brothers and sisters in the United States and they are so close to achieving that. So close. And we know that we can do it here too. We can do it and it must be we, not just everybody here, but those who are our friends, our relations, those we work with, we must all get on board, uh, on board this issue. We must and we will win. I want to thank somebody that I should have thanked right at the very beginning and acknowledged his presence here today, and that is the member for Forest Hill, Neil Angus, uh, who is with us very, very often. Neil, where are you, mate? I can't see you anywhere at the minute, but I'm sure you're, you're, you're here, there, here somewhere. And uh, Neil's here with his, where is he? There he is. Neil's over there with his, with his wife, Andrea. It's great to see you, Neil. Thank you for coming. Uh, if you live in Forest Hill, you automatically know who to vote for. Neil Angus is your man. Neil, thank you very much indeed. If, every, if everybody here today brings one extra person who's not here today, we will have twice the crowd. You will have met my challenge and our crowd will be back down the street in either direction. That's what we want. I'm going to tell you, we should have 100,000, 150,000, 200,000 people marching in this march because killing babies is something that nobody should ever tolerate. Ever, ever, ever. It is up to us to overturn this law, to remove those behind this law, and to stand up for those babies who are killed by this law. It's up to us. 
It's our responsibility. Don't leave it to God. I hear so many people say, oh, God will look after it. Well, no, God's saying, yeah, you do it. God works through us. That is the fact of the matter. Don't sit at home on your couch saying God will do it because he's looking at you on your couch saying, yes, I'm doing it through you. It is up to each and every one of us to take personal responsibility to fight this evil and, as I said earlier, to win. Since this law, since this law was passed in 2008, over 250,000 Victorian babies have been killed. Over 250,000. Now, if you're at the MCG, a couple of weeks ago, there were 100,000 people there. So double that, and then half it again, and you will have the number of babies killed by abortion since this law was passed. We know somewhere between 20 and 25,000 babies will be killed by abortion in the next 12 months here in Victoria. It's a tragic, a tragedy, and it has to end. And we're the ones who are going to end it. We must end it. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you all for being here today. I ask you for your prayers. I ask for your support, your ongoing support. And I know that your commitment to our cause will see that the lives of those children will be saved. The lives of those children will be spared and the misery of their mothers will be spared. That is what we must aim for and that is what we must achieve. Thank you all, thank you all for coming today. I do appreciate it. For those of you who have posters, please put them over here to the, uh, the left of the truck, your right, my left, uh, and uh, we, will, uh, we might get a couple of volunteers if we could to get the, uh, the posters that are left in the gardens, and uh, we'll bring those uh, back here as well to, uh, to put on the truck. Uh, so if you could do that, and also those of you who have balloons, uh, take them home, uh, or pop them and put them in the bin. Don't let them go because, um, well, it's not very nice. It's, uh, we wouldn't want to be environmentally unfriendly uh, because we might have people from the other gardens uh, come down and do a nudie run. <laughs> they are there to they are biodegradable. That's it. Oh, aren't we clever? That's very good. Well, we don't want to run the risk of the nudie run anyway, so don't, um, don't, don't do that. Ladies and gentlemen, Victoria Police have been sensational today and in the lead up... Three cheers for Victoria Police. Hip hip. Hip hip. Hip hip. And I'm tipping this is the first protest they've been to this week that's heard that. I'll put money on. I'll put money on that. So well done to the uh, the men and women in blue of Victoria Police uh, who have um, have done a great job. Thank you very much indeed. This is Will's Front, brought to you by theunshackled.net.